Hi, you welcome to the Ogona Art Fam people. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video, we're going to be talking about how to ink without fear. And so, rather you're using a pen or a G pen, this can count towards you. And so, one of the things that I keep reminding myself to alleviate the fear of when I ink is knowing the fact that you can correct it later digitally on Photoshop or manga studio uh prior we prior like in the old ages you know we didn't have any digital technology to help us correct our artworks and so knowing that we have you know digital software to help us correct our artworks this could help alleviate our fears when we go into inking because we can correct and fix the mistakes later on and this goes especially when you're working with the G pen. Your G pen matches your emotions or how confident you are in your work. So, if you would like to produce, you know, more natural lines on your G pen, then it has to be a more flowy or natural uh, look. If if you have, uh, you know, we can tell that if the lines are are jagged and whatnot, that there's some hesitation in the ink work. However, knowing that you can correct it digitally can help alleviate that fear. And so another tip is to practice. Uh, you can uh, practice through your sketches that you do and not uh, do the inking on your finalized work, work until you have enough you know, practice and preparation on your sketches. Or you can use a uh, translucent paper and uh, practice tracing with ink you know and you know pretending that it's your own drawing and you know just practice practicing and tracing with ink and you then you can make all the mistakes that you need on that translucent paper and so I gave two tips uh, the third tip would be to be sure that you aren't working in a cluttered area which what helped me is you know not working in very in a very cluttered space my desk tends to, tends to, you know, stock up on papers and pens, and you know, I tend to not have enough space to have full range, full range on my uh, arm motion. And arm motion is also important for you know creating strokes and having you know very natural and fluid lines. So you want to you know clean up the the space. You don't want to have be so cluttered, have your space so cluttered. And so having you know having less things on my desk helps and it all goes back to feng shui how your environment or what you eat can affect your mood and your mental state and so having you know very cluttered spaces can also make your mind really cluttered having very clean spaces can make your mind clean enough to you know just draw you know be free and whatnot uh, another uh, tip or you know advice is you know inking so inking versus uh, penciling now the reason why I enjoy uh, sketching with ink is due to the fact that you get to see your mistakes uh, a lot of artists tend to have a, a habit of you know the of drawing and then constantly erasing all the time but with inking you're you're forced to see your mistakes and so when you're forced to see your mistakes you make sure that it, you know it doesn't happen again with the next ink sketch or yeah the next ink sketch that you do so that's the reason that's also a good plus as to why I feel people should draw with ink as opposed to uh, pencil pencils however it really does depend uh, uh, you don't have to be so strict on yourself with ink or pencils if you know if it's just a uh, if it's just a, a sketch for you to get an idea of what a character looks like but if you're sketching for improvement with that with that aim in mind then perhaps the uh, the ink will be where you want to go and that will be the video thank you guys for watching peace out and consider subscribing to the family so you can hit that and don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can 
click the chat box to send the notifications for you and then just save it I also provide you guys a discord or a place to chat my discord will be available in a link down below I provide references you know for anyone that want to you know look into it you know so I have references for you know ears breasts you know front torso back torso etc and including hands as well and this is where you can you know just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here etc that's just the basis of the discord check it out whatnot and that'll be the video thank you guys for watching peace out